me, 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 me. I'm gonna act this lash better act right for this video. For real. On camera, get in focus. We got to get in focus. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the rackets on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off. What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up? We about to do this video. I've been waiting for this wig. Didn't take that long, but I'm happy it's here because a girl likes some color. I'm stepped out the box. I'm out the box. I'm out there, okay? I am out. So my peoples at China Lace Wigs sent me another one of their transparent lace wigs, undetectable, invisible lace wig. So China Lace Wigs is starting to be on my favorite list. Like they are on my favorite list. Like there are not too many, like I tell you guys on my favorite list, but they are up there. They have been doing the damn thing with these lace wigs, especially the transparent ones. I've had the pleasure to review two of them. And now this is the third one. And this one got some color girl. Okay. So this one, I didn't have to do anything to, and I'm happy about that, except I did pluck a little bit of the sides or oh, you didn't need to i do believe it's either 20 or 22 inches i'll definitely link everything in the box i know it looks a little janky right now because i really didn't style it i was going to style it off camera so that's the reason why it's already pressed in the front and there are a couple little curls but then i was like you know what i'm gonna just do that with you guys you're gonna listen to some music i'm gonna listen to some music and you're gonna listen to the music that i choose you to listen to but you can just uh, Put your own music on and just watch me whatever you want to do you know what i'm saying i'm going to show you guys how your wig comes and i'm going to cut the back of this lace off and this is just a regular lace frontal 13 by 6 and it does come with these tab things here inside and i'm hoping and praying that it does not interfere with the application process if it does i'm definitely going to have to remove them there are times that I have noticed with these wigs when they come with these black elastic bands that are removable with the little hooks that sometimes they're sewn in the wrong place. Kind of makes it unbearable to adhere the wig. So I'm hoping that this is not the situation. But if it is, then, you know, I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to cut this off and I'll let you guys see how your wig comes. When you receive your package from China Lace Wigs, you receive it in their standard packaging. also receive some amenities with your purchase. With this unit, I did receive some of their 3D faux strip mink lashes, which are very full and will look great with any lace wig unit. You'll also receive an adjustable black elastic band, which can easily be removed by just unlatching them from the hooks. The unit that I received is a 22 inch Virgin Brazilian 13 by 6 inch HD invisible lace front. This unit has beautiful highlights of blonde and is also a body wave. The great thing about this unit is it has already been pre-styled for you. You do not need to bleach any of the knots in this unit as that has already been done for you. As you can see, the colors are very vibrant and the hair is a silky texture. You may need to wash your wig once you receive it. As I did state, it has been pre-styled, but I would highly advise to co-wash it with some conditioner. That will allow the unit to lay much flatter along with that it will also allow the unit to be styled a lot easier after you washed it This unit does come in different densities along with different lengths and as you guys see the knots have already been bleached for you and it also does come with baby hairs in the back and the front perimeter. The lace is an HD lace which makes it very undetectable. 
I will leave all of China Lace Wigs information below. Make sure you visit their website as they have many different units to choose from. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and cut the lace off and then I did put the black elastic band inside. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that we don't have to cut it off because that's a little bit extra work. So let's get into this. Okay, you guys, so it's time to put this unit on. I'm going to give it a try by using the black elastic bands that it came with. And at first, I'm just going to see where they will fall at when I do place the unit on prior to styling or adhering it because I do not want any mishaps. Now, in case I did forget to mention, I did pre-pluck some of the unit and I attempted to style it off camera, but I decided to do it with you guys. And from the looks of things, I'm definitely going to have to remove those black elastic band tab. They definitely were in the way. And now I'm just gonna try and place the wig on without any type of elastic. And as I'm noticing with the unit, it's not very snug and it does not lay flat as I would prefer to. So I'm gonna go have, I'm gonna have to go in and just take some elastic and sew it on. But I'm gonna do that after I cut the lace off. I'm just gonna take my scissors and go ahead and cut away the front portion of the lace. And this is just the normal method that we all do when adhering our wig. Normally, I like to use the scissors and once in a blue when I'm feeling kind of lucky, I'll use the eyebrow trimmers. But for today's video, it's just about the scissors because I've already had a long day with removing the black elastic tabs or the black elastic band. And I do like those black elastic bands, but a lot of time I've noticed, as I stated, that they're sewn in the wrong spot. So as you guys see, I went ahead and sewed in my own elastic. Now, being that the wig is a little bit too big and the ear tabs are overflapping my own natural ears, this is definitely not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and customize the unit. And I'm just going to part that wig or the wig right above my ears so that way I can cut off that excess lace. And you want to make sure you're taking a rat tail combs and doing this method and just place it directly over your ear, part it directly over your ear and cut the excess lace off. And that way your wig will fit a lot more proper, it will lay flat, and it'll look less detectable. And we all know that wigs are trending and they're very popular, but we definitely don't want to go outside for everyone to know that we have on a wig. So I would highly advise you guys to make sure you customize it to your liking and to your head circumference. And that is what I'm doing right here. Once the scissors get in place. Now I'm going to just take some of the hairs from the front perimeter and I'm just going to part those. Now this is not for baby hairs all the time. This is simply because I do like to adhere my wigs a certain type of way or certain type of method. So I always part the front hairline perimeter so that way when it is time to spray my hairspray on, I can spray it in between the part without spraying it on the hair. Sometimes I like to spray underneath, which will give a better hold, and I'm going to be using the bed head for that. Trust me, I still do use my uh, Got To Be Glam Force because to me they kind of hold the same. But as I sprayed on the inner side, I'm now going to spray in between the part and use my blow dryer on a cool to medium heat to dry the product. If you don't have a blow dryer, you can easily take an elastic band or a scarf and tie it around your head to allow the product to dry. Now this is the part where I was having a little bit of issues because that wig was not laying down at all. It kept, it just kept lumping up. My hairline was starting to look a little bit wrinkled. It was not laying flat as normal. So I'm thinking that the wig was a little bit off in size or creation. It might've been something done on a machine, but this is the first time um, with this Particular company that I've had any type of issue it's not really a big issue you just have to do it a little bit different or I have to apply it a little bit different which is no big deal but I did notice that after I started spraying on the one right side so when you do have a problem and it seems like a little bit off you're definitely going to have to take a little bit of extra steps just to make sure that it adheres properly And now I'm just trying to get these hairs out of the way so that way I can just 
spray in between the part i don't want any of the hairs to get hard but no big deal because it's hairspray so easily you can just easily take a cloth or a wet rag and just wipe the hairspray away that's the one thing i like about applying my wig with a with hairspray because if any of it drips on your skin it's an easy wipe away method i don't like the glue it's just so much work and it's just so messy so i just prefer to use a good holding spray and as you guys seen, I did take my cloth and wipe the excess hairspray off and then dry the product as I'm doing now. So I really felt like I should have washed this wig, but I was kind of lazy and I just really didn't want to because it was already styled. But I have noticed that when you receive a wig that's pre-styled for you, especially if it's like a silky texture, you'll definitely want to wash it because the ends, I just really don't feel like they use the conditioner that we use or if they use any conditioner at all. So I would highly advise you guys when you do get a wig, just make sure that you wash it really good. So that way you can feel the difference in the texture. If I would have washed it, the hair would have not been so wild looking and it would have been more relaxed looking and just laid a lot better. So that's my, you know, that's just me telling you guys, you know. So now I'm just going to take my Dollar Tree Styling Mousse and brush away the hairs in the back towards the back. And as you guys see, the hair looks a little wonky. And that's because I didn't wash it, but we're going to get through this anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush through it. And then I'm just going to take my hot comb along with a wax stick just to style this. So this is the part right here where I'm just going to take the wax stick to get into the part. And then I'm just going to press the part. The hair is still soft, regardless if that I washed it or not. It's still very soft and manageable. And the reason why I have a black elastic band in the front of my head is because I just prefer wearing this versus a scarf. This will not leave any lines of demarcation on your skin. Plus it will not give you a scarf headache and it's not too hot and it won't slip off in the middle of the night and it will keep your wig looking tighter. So that's the reason why I say get a scarf girl, get a scarf. And now I'm just gonna take my brush and brush through it and then you know the rest. Hot curl it, girl. Just hot curl and style it. So you guys know the rest. So I'm going to leave you guys at this point. And I'll see you guys after my styling is done. Let go. Yeah. Don't know. Oh, yeah. It's the original Batman. One time, one time. It's a Batman thing. Yeah. It's body, baby. Vicious. Let's it's go. I'm going to make you bounce like a hurricane. I'm going to make your bed rock like a hurricane. I'ma I'm 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 do it like nobody can And I'll give you all the things that nobody can I'ma make you bounce like a hurricane I'ma make your bed rock like a hurricane I'ma I'm I'm do it like nobody can And I'll give you all the things that nobody can Stand up Hurricane, ooh, yeah I want to meet you yeah. Hurricane, ooh, yeah I want to meet you yeah. Tell them I'm the realest, then they feel me Killing on the rhythm, on the rhythm, then they feel me I'm always all about my business I got my business and we never ever finish so She know be one to test in my style Say she wanna throw the dice, body looking nice From my hips down to her thighs Then I look her in her eyes One time, say she know one waste time Bad man, me not give her one time, night time Say she want me for lifetime Bad man all right, you guys, so I'm done. When I say I'm done, I'm done. I said what I said. I love China lace wigs, but this wig was a little bit off. It was a little bit more work than I had expected, anticipated. Girl, I was like over this wig when I had to take out the black elastic band, okay? Then I did try to wear the wig without an elastic band but it just kept humping up right here and it would not lay flat for the life of me so then i went and i sewed in an elastic band still would not lay flat it still kept getting really bunchy in the middle I'm not really sure what went wrong with this one sometimes it's always best to wash your wigs before you even um, wear them even though this wig was already bleached and styled i noticed like when they style when your wig comes pre-styled to me on a it's not dry but yeah it might be kind of like dry because you can see like all the little hairs all over the place but then when you wash it and condition it yourself it has like this more relaxed laid natural look so i'm thinking like you know i should have washed it it might not have conditioned it i'm not really sure i really do feel like if i would have washed it i think the hair 
would have came out a lot better. As for the lace cap and the fitting, I cannot tell you if that would. I really don't think it would have. It was a little more challenging. And girl, let me tell you, I was about to just say, the heck with it. I'm taking it off and I'm going to wash it, blah, blah, blah. I was like really getting beside myself. I don't really like to feel like this about a wig, but girl, I was about to start crying. Yeah. This wig has, listen, I saved this one for last because I did two, two videos prior. And girl, good thing I did because had I did this one first, I would have been done for the day. Besides all of that, the color is gorge. Like the color is gorge. But as you guys see how the ends, I really feel like if I would have washed this, this would have came out a whole lot better. But it is very smooth and soft. This color came out really nice. And in case you guys are wondering, what did I have around my head? It was a piece of elastic. I used this to sleep in. I put this around my head at night. I cannot do the scarves anymore because they end up giving you like a really big scarf headache. And it's extra hot, you know. So, and it slips back and it's just too much. So, one day I just put a piece of elastic around my head and it worked out. The only thing that was irritating me was the knot in the back of the elastic. So, I just went and sewed it together and I got me an elastic headband, girl. This will keep your wig intact. Girl, you will not get any type of lines up here. You just caress it just right there and you're good to go, boo. Like, serious. That's all you need. Just get yourself a nice piece of wide elastic. Mine has like ridges in it. Hopefully, you guys can see it. It's kind of like got ridges in it. I got this from Walmart. You get a yard for 97 cents. Look in the craft aisle where the elastic is already at and you will see that. Put it around your head, girl, and you are good to go on that note i'm about to go i've had a long day i love you guys make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up stay safe stay cautious keep america and all countries in your prayers for each and every one i love you guys many blessings keep yourself safe and indoors and on that note stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up all the information will be in the box below. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe in the denim. I put the records on them. Big mans can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.